Hi, my name is Levi. I'm a sprite animator for Smash Bracket and YouTube, and last week I asked you to ask me any question you wanted to. And here are your questions. Was getting into sprite animation easy for you, and how long did it take you to get to the level you are now? It was kind of easy getting in. Uh, mainly what you need to get into it is to know somebody in the community um, or just watch tutorials on YouTube. But I knew somebody in the community who uh, was kind of my foot in the door. So I started uh, working with some other sprite animators on some smaller projects. And uh, as far as me getting to the level I am today, uh, it's taken as long as I've been a sprite animator, so about six or seven years. What is the best slash worst animation you've worked on for a series, being Smash Bracket, Rewind Rumble, etc.? The best one that I've ever done, I think, in my opinion, is probably still Chuck Norris versus John Cena. And that fight is just... <laughs> I love it. It's such a hype matchup. It's so fun. Uh, Animation Rewind told me just to do whatever I wanted to, and uh, that's how I prefer to animate. I really, really enjoy being able to just freestyle and go after it. Worst animation I think I've done uh, is uh, my part of Banjo versus Yoshi for Smash Bracket. Um, I think it was a really, really weak part of the animation, uh, and I feel like I didn't do a very good job matching the styles of Abami and Discovery, the two other animators that were working on that. Ah, next comment comes in from my good friend Brando Delight. What do you think about working as an independent animator who solely relies on media platforms like YouTube for income? Is it worth your time to animate content, and would you suggest doing so? Working on animation is so much fun. Uh, it's a really, really fun job to have, um, and uh, relying on that for like a paycheck, doing stuff like full time like I do with Smash Bracket, I think it's very fulfilling. What is difficult is that it isn't extremely consistent. You know, you may not have clients wanting to work with you as much. You may just not get very much work like one month compared to another month after it. One of the things that's great about something like Death Battle, for example, is that they pay their animators really well. They also, you know, have them under contracts to be able to finish certain amounts per episode so that they make enough money to actually live on. With Smash Bracket, it's not like I don't get paid well. I get paid extremely fine from Smash Bracket. Uh, but something like Death Battle is like the ideal thing to work at if you're wanting to do animation full time. Um, and that's just not something that's extremely feasible, even for somebody like me who's been doing it for six years. I'm still trying to get into death battle, and it hasn't <laughs> hasn't quite worked yet, but we are still trying. Uh, long story short, if you're thinking about getting into animation, you should definitely try. Uh, even if you don't want to do it full-time as a career, it's a really fun hobby. And Brando, between you and me, you'd be a really good sprite animator. What is the hardest part about being an animator? Sitting at a computer alone for about two hours before something moves. You gotta be very, very patient to be any kind of animator. Also, he asks, does it count as you having a love life if I love you? Not if I love you more. Next question from Ian Effort is, who is the number one person you would want to work with in animation? If we're talking about sprite animators, it'd probably be Luis Cruz or Jets. I mean, he's the lead animator of Death Battle, which in turn, if I worked with him, probably would mean that I was working in Death Battle. So, but if we're talking like working with animators in the industry, um, I'd probably want to work with Owen Dennis, who was a storyboard artist for a regular show, and he's also the creator of a show called Infinity Train. Two questions. What's your favorite game, and what's your main source of income? My favorite game is Persona 5 Royal. My main source of income is being the lead animator for Smash Bracket. I work full-time for them at the moment. My favorite song is called Just Friends. It's by Love Sentence. It's a fictional band from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. How much do you usually get paid for animations? Typically, sprite animators charge, like, either $5 to $8 per second of animation that they do, uh, but that's subject to change depending on who you're working for and how much they pay. Lastly, favorite death battle. My favorite death battle is uh, Star Butterfly versus Steven Universe just because I really, really love the characters. Um, I also made a reaction video to that and you can watch that if you haven't seen it. You look so fresh, Levi. Why, thank you, Peepo Mella. Do you like metal music? No, I don't like metal. Sorry, Peepo. Vaporwave Cat asks, what programs do you use for your animation? I use Adobe Animate 2023 for animation, and I use DaVinci Resolve for any editing, for any polishing, um, and any cleanup work I might have to do to the animations. Coleman Smith asks, what was your favorite moment from high school? Now, Coleman uh, and I did go to high school together, so that's why he's asking me a question like this, which I appreciate. Thank you, Coleman. My favorite moment from high school, um, or rather moments, uh, was this big bit that me and my friends had. Basically what we did, and this is crazy, we took m most all of the staff at our school, like all the teachers, all like the janitors and everything, and we ranked them on a tier list based on how powerful we thought they were. It's like we crafted lore for 
each and every one of these teachers. Like we were like, oh yeah, this teacher can probably destroy like three universes or whatever. And I also, uh, for the bit, wrote a 73 page book. I, I call it a novel. It's called Teacher vs. 4 Endgame, um, and it will never see the light of day in uh, the public eye. What have you been up to outside of animation? Great question. I've been filmmaking. I've been working on my own project called Critical Hit, uh, which is a Dungeons & Dragons short film about uh, four kids that are sitting around a table playing a game of D&D. We recently wrapped shooting our film, uh, The Tickle Monster, um, which you can keep an eye out for that on a channel called Leaping Dog Films. It's a lot of fun, um, and I think we did a really good job with that movie. Ah, I couldn't avoid it forever. Ninja Bro 69 asks, when will the Star vs. the Forces of Evil Bridge series finally be released? Released a few things on Reddit saying that we were going to do a Star vs. the Forces of Evil Bridge series. I do not know when it will be out. It's still on the radar, but I don't, I don't have a like date for you or anything like that. No release date here, but uh, it looks pretty cool so far what we've got. Alex303, great animator, asks, how do I get my wife to come back? It's simple, Alex. You date me instead. Any advice for aspiring filmmakers? Go to local film festivals, if um, you know of any that are going to be happening, and try and meet people. You know, show that you're interested in working on movies. Ask to be a PA, which is a production assistant. Um, and once people start hearing your name and start seeing that you're interested in working, chances are they will call you back and try to uh, get you on another set. Two very, very important questions coming up here. What is the meaning of life? And what is your favorite color? To me, the meaning of life is to one, live like Jesus, and two, create entertainment that everybody can enjoy. Um, my favorite color is blue, but pink is a close second. Pineapple on pizza? I could take it or leave it. Air Caves asks, when is your birthday? We have been over this, Air Caves. My birthday is December 2nd, 2000. Not a day before that or a day after it. What's your favorite Sonic song? Are you going to voice Bill Cipher in Death Battle? Well, it's funny you should ask. No, probably not. Death Battle usually likes for people to have like a studio that they're going to be recording in or like an in-home studio or a sound booth or something that they can record in. And they usually try and outsource people who have like worked in the industry before. Um, I've voice acted in a couple of freelance projects and that's it. Um, I mainly just made that video as a fun little bit, um, and I know a couple of people from the Death Battle team have seen it, uh, but I haven't heard anything back, nor do I really expect to. They're probably going to hold auditions for somebody who sounds like exactly like Alex Hirsch. What's your second favorite Versus show? It's Smash Bracket. <laughs> Sorry, was that important? What inspired you to make Sprite Animation? I guess it's a tie between... Death Battle and uh, Mark Haynes' Super Mario Bros. Z, but probably leaning more towards Super Mario Bros. Z because that was something I saw before even Death Battle, and um, that inspired me sort of more than just be a sprite animator, but also to be like kind of a filmmaker and a storyteller. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say I have Mark Haynes to thank for that. Final question coming in from Ob Pagan Jr. How is the Tickle Monster movie going? Thank you for asking. I mentioned the Tickle Monster earlier in this video. It's a project that I am co-directing. Um, I'm not the official director. I didn't like create the concept or anything. That's my friend Brett Helms at Leaping Dog Films. Um, and he uh, right now is in the editing process of that. It's completely out of my hands and it's something that he is handling. He has said to me that it will come out sometime later this year. That's all I know. Um, I don't know how far it'll be into the year, but I know it'll be sometime later this year that uh, the Tickle Monster comes out. And just like that, that's all of the questions y'all had for me. Y'all asked some weird ones, and y'all asked some good ones, and uh, there were some that got really deep. That was cool. I'm glad I'm glad we were able to have this uh, conversation. As always, guys, my name is Levi. I'm a sprite animator that makes things move. If you want to chat with me, you can do so either in the comments or through Discord or through email. I have all of which uh, in the About section of my channel. I look forward to hearing from any of you guys if you have a question on any one of those platforms. For now, though, take care. What's your favorite Sonic song?